Hello and welcome to Introduction to Python. Today I'm going to consider that you have Python already installed but you haven't started using it yet. So that's where we're going to start. So I'm going to open my idle, Pyth this is the Python GUI. And when you ch get the Python opened up, there are two modes actually that Python runs in. You could either run it in scripting mode or you can run it in interactive mode. So for the purposes of what we're doing today, we want to make sure that idle is running in script mode. So how you do that is up here at the top, you click options, and then you select configure idle. A new pop-up window opens, and the general tab, which is right over here, you're going to click on that. And then under Startup Preferences at Startup, you're going to select Open Edit Window. Now, as you notice, it says it's going to do that at Startup. So what we have to do is we have to apply that, say OK, close the Python shell, and then reopen it again. Now that it's set and open, I'm going to talk about the print function. The print is a command that's in Python that can only be used as a command. So I'm going to type print. You notice how it changed color on the screen. That's a really good way to know if the word that you're using is actually a command. I'm going to put it in quotation marks. Anything that I put in these quotation marks is going to show up to the user. So if I say print hello world, then the user isn't going to see the print statement, but they will see hello world come out if it's being done correctly. Before I can run it, I have to save it. So I'm going to click file, save as, going to name the file, whatever it is that you're going to name it, .py, and click Save. Now that we've saved it, we can actually run the program. And how you run it is to click on Run at the top, and then Run Module. And as you can see, it came out, Hello World. And that is how you do your very first program. Now one more thing I want to show you is comments because comments can be very important to put into the system. So on my second line, I'm going to put in the pound sign. Now anytime I use this pound sign, that tells the system that I'm just going to make a comment and it doesn't want the user to see my comments. It only wants the person who is actually doing the programming to see it. Okay, So I typed in the comment area, my first program. Again, I'm going to save it and then I need to run it. This is my original Hello World. It's still in there because I did not close the window. So it didn't run twice. It just still has the old version that I ran in it. So if you see that, just remember that this is a brand new one. And this words right here where it says restart, that's the big clue that it restarted and ran the program again. And as you notice, you can see the hello world that I typed in, but you cannot see these comments, my first program. And also notice that my first program is all in red. Well, that's it for today's short introduction. Thank you and have a wonderful day.